we need to do before we're able to draw is we have to find our vanishing point on our paper because we are drawing from from reference photo. It's not something that we're going to be making up. So I want you to take your ruler and I want you to find a wall that you can see and line that ruler up with that wall. Line that ruler up with the wall. And then you're going to draw a line along that wall. You're just lining your ruler up diagonally with your wall. All we're doing right now, guys, is we're just drawing some lines on our photo. So we're going to find your vanishing point. So I'm going to use a highlighter to see if it's a little easier for you guys to see. Alright. Do you see that line I drew? It's right along here. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the top of my wall. I'm going to find it and I'm going to draw another line. Where those two lines intersect, what? Can you take your folder down, please? Where those lines intersect is where your vanishing point is going to be. Then I can do the same thing to my other wall just to make sure that everything is converging in that same area, no matter where you line up. My rug. I can line up my rug with it because it's lined up with my walls and that will also go to my vanishing point okay everything that I line up with my ruler goes to my vanishing point. Okay, bring it up here, Lillian. Let me see it. <laughs> bring it up here. Yours might not be in the middle. Mine just happens to be in the middle. Alright, so you just drew one line down but you don't have it quite lined up. So this will be where your point is. And then, let's see. We can do just the edge of the show. We're just, we're just lining them up to find your vanishing point. Just right where your walls are. So your vanishing point is going to be somewhere around here. Okay. Alright, does anybody else need help? Okay. Alright, does everything converge in one area? You got it lined up with your walls. Yeah, so you've got one here, you got one here. I want you to do the same thing to the side wall here, and then everything should converge in that area. And that'll be your vanishing point. Yeah. Okay. So, see your ruler. So you're going to line up your wall. And you drew your line. And that's your top wall. Yeah, you did it right. That's your vanishing point. Everything is lining up. That's your vanishing point. And then your row goes that way. And then there's your other wall. 
Everything's lining up. Her so that's one point. The first time. Your angle is probably off just a little bit. But that's your vanishing point. Because half of it, it goes to this point, and the other half it goes like there. So it's like different intersections. Because okay. you don't have your ruler quite lined up with the edge of your wall. So, this is your wall. Here's your other wall. So you're somewhere about right here. Ruler, did you bring this one up? No. no. You're right. at your photo. Okay, if I look at my photo, I can see that my horizon line is somewhere about right here. It's about two-thirds of the way up. So I'm not going to put my point right in my middle. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Yours is not going to be in the same spot as mine. If your vanishing point is over here, that's where you're going to put it on your paper. If it's on the other side, put it on the other side. You are drawing according to your paper. Remember when we did this yesterday? We started with our vanishing point. We went to each corner, correct? All right. She's asking your opinion. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. This is kind of a guesstimation on our part. All right, so put your vanishing point on your paper. Just a small dot. Remember, this dot has to be erased. Do not draw it too dark. I'm going to draw dark for your sake so that way you guys can see it. Next thing you need to do is you need to go through on your paper and see where do my walls end. So I drew some circles on where my walls are going to end. Are these walls going corner to corner of my paper? No. So that means I'm not going to draw each line to my corners. So I'm going to start by drawing my lines to the same direction that my paper is, or my reference photo is. Okay. Right? So I kind of marked where I want my lines to go. So then I take my ruler, I line up my vanishing point and where I want that wall to end. So, if you look at my wall here and my wall here, they're about at the same location. We're just drawing it at a larger scale. I didn't draw my line to my corner because it's not to the corner on this paper. I need you guys to follow along. We don't need to be talking right now. So, find where your walls end. 
Now, if you don't see your ceiling, are you going to have um, two spots that you're going to go for your ceiling? No. And I will come around and I'll help you guys, but I want you guys to watch this. Then I'm just going to go around and I'm going to draw from my vanishing point to where my walls need to be. What? Just eyeball it, just the best you can. <laughs> so this should start to match what you have on your paper. So basically you're going to have a funny looking X if your lines do not go to your vanish or to your corners from your vanishing point. You also need to decide the orientation of your paper. If your picture is landscape, draw it landscape. If your picture is portrait, draw it portrait. But it should start to look something like this. I'm going to come around and see what you guys have.
your wall space and your floor space. If you draw your back wall too big, what's that doing to your wall space and your floor space? It's going to make it smaller. So when you draw your back wall, you have to consider your furniture that you have to fit on the walls and in the floor. So I'm going to just kind of do a rough sketch before I draw my straight line. So I'm thinking I want my back wall to end somewhere about right here. So that way I have all this floor space that I can fit my bed. And then I'm just going to do like a rough sketch to see how it looks. And I'm drawing this very lightly. And then each of your corners have to meet on your orthogonal line. After I'm happy with that placement, then I can go through and I can draw my lines that I want to be the permanent lines. Remember, draw lightly until you're absolutely sure that's where you want your placement. Now, determine, depending on your picture, your back wall might be at a slight angle. Or, in my case, it's straight on. So it's pretty much straight on the paper. After I have that, then I can erase my inside lines of that X that go to my vanishing point. Do I want to erase my vanishing point? No. No, not yet. Because what has to go to your vanishing point? Pretty much everything you draw has to go to your vanishing point because you have to draw your diagonal lines to that. What are those diagonal lines called? Your orthogonal lines. Orthogonal lines go to your vanishing point that is located on what line? Your horizon line. 
Guys, remember, you're going to have a final over your vocab. You need to know this vocabulary. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you guys look, shh, look up at the board, guys. Do you see my ceiling, my floor, and my walls? Yes or no? Yes. This is my back wall. These are my two side walls, my ceiling, and my floor. I have plenty of room to draw my furniture. Our goal today is to get this part drawn out. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to help you guys. Look at your photo for reference. Once you have this set out, everything else should be fairly straightforward for you. As remember when we did our exercise on Friday, we started the room. After we got the room layout, what did we start drawing? Look up at the board, guys. After we had the room set out, what did we start drawing? We started drawing the furniture and the doors and the windows and the flooring. Okay? So decide what you're going to start with first. 